How's it going? It's Blake Snatch Alive, and let's go look at the chili congos. These chilies, if you remember, I got them from Nicaragua. So these few that I planted in the garden are just producing so much. These actually made it through the winter. I covered the trunk and I had to cut it down to about three to four inches. And this will give you an example where they grew back from. But literally, they put on more chilies than they did last year because I grew them from seed. So I'm hoping to keep these from, from dying all the way, just keep growing them back up. These have a good spice, good for cooking with. They get really big as you can see. Give you an example, I'm on the six foot and they're passing over me. Walk over here. We make, um, we put these in vinegar and you can cook with it and soak uh, vegetables with it. So this one's about the biggest. It's kind of took over the smaller one. There's some more. I'm going to try to pick as much as I can later. I don't want to waste any more. A lot have fell on the ground from the rain. They're so pretty. I like them. Literally, I just give them a lot of mulch. Feed them twice a year. Water them when they need. And they will produce. Isn't that gorgeous? There's that one. I planted some papayas. Growing and we got some Orinoco bananas. Thanks to John. So I had to put some in here, kind of give some shade. Get different ideas to grow in here. I got to clean up in the garden. We got the Seminole pumpkin growing everywhere. Here's some more chilies that I planted from seed. I even planted some yucca. Storm knocked this one down. It was about 11 foot tall and I cut it back and now, now it's doing better. Well, it's not going to tip over. So when I cut it, I just took the extra ones in here. So what I'm going to do with these, when it gets really cold in the temps, I'll probably just cut it a few inches close to the ground and try to cover it with mulch or get some pine straw just to get it through the winter and then let it grow back up. And then hopefully next summer, the end of summer, I should have some decent roots on it to eat on. You see how I plant it sideways? That came from the bigger one. I had to cut it back because it fell over. The okra got beat up by some pest. And the ant fire ants got really bad. They were actually eating the okra. So I had to kill a lot of fire ants. That just happens. Let's look at the passion fruit real quick. Need to pollinate these so you can see how they're putting them pretty quick. Can't wait to try them. Look how big this one is. And it's heavy, so it's got a lot of fruit in there. So this one yesterday was getting ate up by fire ants. I had to spray it with soap water. These I'll try to pollinate. Some ate on that one, not this one off. Let's see if we got any bigger ones. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna protect this better this year. I really don't want this to get knocked back like it did last year. The um, cloth fell off and just messed it up. There's another one. Oh, they smell so good too. Different flies and fruit flies are getting on the flower. Alright. 
There's more fruits on the other side too. Here's some more. These should get a lot bigger. I'd say we got about 20 or more. And there's more flowers putting on. Now, the first few that came on, I opened one. Where did it go? I didn't lost it. Well, those are the first few that I didn't pollinate, but I didn't get good pollination. So it didn't make much fruit. So it just shows you how they change depending on pollination, the fruit size. Let's see. Just wanted to get an idea how they're doing. Look at that trunk. Main thing is trying to protect that trunk in the winter. And I want to try to protect as much vines as possible so it doesn't have severe dieback. So I'll have early fruits. Here's more uh, new flowers popping up. That's cool. Let's walk on this side real quick before we end this video. I tell you what, growing from seed and having something new that you did not expect just makes me makes you really happy. So expect the best. Anything's possible. That's what I'm telling you. That here's a really big one too. Woo! It's growing. It's still putting on size too. The other one's heavier. The other one's older. These are a lot newer. See all the different fruits. This is a happy tree right here. I mean, vine. Happy, happy vine. Here's another big one. So the final thing is to try the fruit. The fruit's delicious. I'm going to have to give it a good name. Here's that uh, that uh, giant milkweed from Grand Turk. Got to figure out how I'm going to protect it. It'll be easy. Get some frost cloth. There you have it. It's Blake's Nature Live. Catch you later.